Hello everyone, welcome to iExambi. Today we have Rohan Ahaluralia with us and he has recently cleared SEBI grade A legal exam and he has secured first rank. Congratulations Rohan for your very good performance in SEBI legal and wish Thank you all you, for your future. Congratulations from entire iExambi team. So Rohan, can you Thank tell you, us something about uh, yourself that uh, how when you completed, what uh, was your... Uh, how did you get to know about this exam and what are the various opportunities for a law graduate right after graduation? Okay, so I have graduated in 2019 okay. from Damodaram Sanjeevan National University, Vishakhapatnam. After that, I have been pursuing civil services for in even in my final year, I did pursue civil services and I took one year after graduation to pursue civil services further. So I gave one attempt in 2019 and 2020 again. After that, I got to know about various competitive examination in my field, that is legal field. So I thought, okay, fine, that this niche area of interest, that is my graduation, is better suited to my needs. So I started exploring. Then I encountered SEBI. Now, SEBI fulfilled all my... Uh, desires which I had from civil services. In fact, it gave me a better corporate structure as well. Right. The organization is a better corporate structure. All right. So I'll get more exposure there. So I pursued full-time SEBI. So in 2021, I had appeared for interview, but I did not make the final list. I missed out by 1.25 marks. Okay. Then again, I thought of having a backup as well. So I chose IBPS SO because the syllabus was quite overlapping between IBPS SO and SEBI. So in 2022, I did clear IBPS SO as well. I got uh, selection in Union Bank of India, but I did not join. And luckily, I was fortunate enough to get All India Rank 1 in SEBI. Correct. So when you got to know about the niche areas, the legal uh, areas in which you can have job opportunities, what all areas did you find you can uh, prepare for in the government sector? Yes. Well, uh, there is, say, if we start from private sector, there are certain mainstream fields which people usually choose, the fresh graduates usually choose. That is, one can go to a private litigation firm or a corporate firm. That is depending on his area of interest. Mm -hmm. After that, there's one can become a bankruptcy uh, professional, insolvency professional. There's a certain exam to clear it. One can pursue further studies. One can like one can pursue LLM. They can write CLAD PG. Now, in even in CLAD PG, uh, if you get uh, top rank, like say for example, if you are into top thirty you might be placed in PSUs, right? There is a separate interview process for that. The weightage is the weightage depends on the CLAT rank. All right. After that, there is judiciary, which most of us know about. Then there are various APO examinations, that's, uh, like public prosecutor examinations. These are, named, these are named differently in different states. All right. But there is no certain criteria as of residence in that state. However, you might have to study certain local laws uh, which people are not familiar with. So it, people usually prefer to give uh, the APP examinations or the public prosecutor examinations of that state only. After that, there is SEBI. Then there is IBPS SO. Also, uh, certain PSU such as Coal India, Oil India, they usually recruit directly like not through CLAD but they have a usual competitive recruitment examinations which are quite periodical so they are regular in recruiting however the vacancies are less which is true in uh, all the vacancies of legal field so these are certain areas this is all just the top of my head I'll just add a few more to give students idea uh, RBI in Nabad also uh, gives legal vacancies. Then there are RRB yes. uh, banks which release scale two vacancies. Apart from that, there are various banks also which directly release scale two level vacancies. 
but they Correct. depend upon their requirement and the notification is not a regular process for every bank Correct. so it comes from time Correct. to time whenever the need arises so okay these are all the uh, opportunities that are available for a law graduate so how Correct. is how to get to know about these opportunities where to find especially in the government domain where to find these opportunities and how to know that some uh, recruitment has come so what do you think could be the best sources for that well uh, it so happens you have rightly said that people most often than not usually miss out on these vacancies right. because the application process the application window is quite short so for that one needs to be updated they you they need to follow regularly certain channels such as even i exam we gives out various vacancies in its youtube channel also there are various telegram groups which gives out various vacancies also you can bookmark certain pages certain for example law octopus is there also you can book out bookmark these pages so that even google sends you recommendations when according to your preferences when and as these vacancies release so uh, in my case the most helpful has been various telegram channels because it is more of a informal kind of uh, you know information distribution where people can not only access the information but also uh, you know ask any doubts related to that application process so yes there was a few, there were a few telegram channels which i have been following which are basically not profit based they are not run by any organization as such however uh, they are quite useful to fresh students okay and what about these exams uh, these all government exams is the preparation strategy almost same uh, let's take up two we have judiciary and we have sebi legal so what is the difference yes. between the two well ma'am uh, quite frankly judiciary judiciary clad pg and assistant public prosecutor examinations these fall on an entirely different line all right for example in sebi and ibps so sebi and ibps so can go hand in hand together all right because the question paper is quite direct oriented it is dry all right however when one goes on to judiciary or app examinations you not only have to read substantive law you have to read their various interpretations of law like we do in our five five year graduation or three year graduation whatever it may be and you also have to read case laws which is absent in these examinations sebi and ibps so so what i personally feel is that you it it the choice you make depends on your area of interest if you are interested you find it interesting to read law in depth so you can easily pursue judiciary examinations as well as uh, app examination there is also cbi vacancy which comes up cbi uh, i am for cbi app i think so that also follows uh, quite on the judiciary path and sebi pattern is they stick to the syllabus they have given quite clear and uh, distinct syllabus and they stick to it and you just have to read the bare acts that is all 